everyone, welcome to the weekly update here at Fishy Business. One of the most often questions that I'm asked almost on an everyday basis is about getting into salt water. And one of the easiest ways to do that is with the Coralife 32 BioCube. It's a complete kit that's all self-contained that is a fantastic way if you've been wanting to get into salt water at a very inexpensive price um, but to do it successfully. And it's a good introduction if you're kind of on the fence. Um, yeah, so when you come in, you want to talk to us about that. You want to experiment maybe with salt water. This is a great way to do it. Uh, now let's get on to the update. And speaking of bio cubes, we have stands. We have all different color stands, style stands. Um, we can get it in red, we can get it in blue, we can get it in green. And we've never done a yellow, so we could do that too if you want. But whatever suits your fancy, if you want to get into the uh, bio cube or to salt water, there's a lot of ways to make it fit whatever room or space you're trying to put it in. Hey y'all, it's Diana with your saltwater portion of the weekly update. This week I got in a lot of cleaner shrimp, like a lot of cleaner shrimp. So if you have been needing a cleaner shrimp, you're a doctor of your tank, I got a whole bunch in. Um, they do clean external parasites off of fish, um, along with Corellia wrasses, which I'll be talking about as well. So come in, check those guys out, and come get your cleaner sh shrimp, and let's see what else I got. So this week I got in a couple of lawnmower blennies. Lawnmower blennies are really, really good at eating hair algae. So if you are having a little bit of a problem with hair algae, these guys do an amazing job of cleaning that up for you. And they're super cute and really active. Along with your cleaner wrasses and your cleaner shrimp, we do have these neon gobies. Neon gobies are another type of fish that clean external parasites off of the outside of fish. Very beneficial, very cute, very adorable. So this week I got in some awesome sized cleaner wrasses. Cleaner wrasses eat external parasites off of the outside of fish. Um, due to his patterns and his stripes and all that, fish tend to identify him as one of the doctors of the sea. So even your predatory fish sometimes may leave him alone for them, for the cleaner fish to be able to help them. change the chemistry too dramatically, it'd be better to add the chemicals to a large body of water and then dilute it. So um, Justin, who may or may not want to be on camera, uh, had a problem with his carbonate hardness getting a little bit too low, so it spiked his calcium to about 600 parts per million. Normally when the carbonate hardness dips below 8 degrees, it'll make it where the calcium is not able to be used and it jumped through the roof. To combat this, we're going to do a partial water change to get it closer to the correct numbers, and then we're going to put some reef buffer or reef builder in his automatic top off so it slowly raises carbonate hardness over time. We forget to remind people to do this on a regular basis, so please remember to put something to buffer your water to top off. Hey, it's Kevin. I'm going to show you some awesome fish today, but before I show you the said awesome fish, I want to show you an awesome package deal that we have for you to put said fish in. We've got some nice little Bowfront 26 gallon kits in stock now. It's a complete little setup that'd be great for our starter tank. I don't know about you, but I'm a sucker for green eyes. Look at the beautiful eyes on these Emerald Eye Razaboras. 
My advice to you if you want to get these fish shoaling properly, yes, we usually recommend a minimum of five fish for you to have a good school of fish going on. But if you want that more swarming slash shoaling effect, do more of them. Don't be scared to do about 10 of them. They do best in big groups. Something we certainly don't have every day. I got these from a local breeder. These are some Agursi Killies. As you can see, the coloration on the males are just phenomenal. The females, not so much, but the males show up much more colorful whenever they're in the presence of females trying to attract a mate. They look fantastic. We have some really adorably cute little Frontosa cichlids as well as some Brashardis in there as well. There's the Brashardi are the liar tails, the Frontosas are the little striped dudes. They really, these are really just babies. They can get 10 inches plus. These are different Lake Tanganyikan cichlids, but they are commonly housed with Malawi or Victoria cichlids with little problem. I had to do this fish just because, had to do these fish just because if for no other reason, it sounds like a name that I just freaking made up. But these are peppermint pikehead crocodile fish. They are actually relatives of the gourami, and they will get about seven inches full size. They are predatory, so do not keep them as small fish. It's shiny. Yes. Thanks everyone for watching the weekly update. We do want to remind you that as we are now almost ending September, uh, October, November, December, Christmas and the holidays will be here before you know it. Maybe you want to give a Halloween gift this year. If you do, we've got tanks that can do that, self-contained, all together, perfectly wrappable. You definitely want to come in at the beginning of the store when you first walk in and check them out. We also have a huge section of nano tanks. That is a very big popular tank right now. If you don't have a lot of space or want to take your fish to work, this is a very easy way to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching the weekly update. God bless. Have a great weekend and we'll see you back here next week.